PHGTigers.com after a 31-28 win over UT Martin with quarterback Cameron Rosendahl and Devon Johnson. Um, guys, Devon Johnson, it's your last game as a Tiger. Just tell me how it felt to get a W on your last day. Well, I made the decision that I was not going to lose, and I just I wasn't going to lose. So I literally tried to do whatever I took to win. Cameron, you got you both connected for three touchdowns today. Um, just say what was working between y'all um, two. Well, it ain't a secret that we've been working together since the summertime. Otherwise, this wouldn't have happened. So I think it's just a continuation of hard work with each other, and uh, this is the result. So it came out pretty nice. <laughs> Cameron, obviously, uh, this was your first start, um, yeah. you know, at Tennessee State, uh, and actually, basically, in two years since yeah. uh, you weren't even in school uh, a year ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we can definitely talk about that as well. But you know, talk about what it was like to get back out on the field and run a team. Um, you know, that's what I think I'm meant to do as a quarterback. That's what I think the quarterback position is about: is running your team, being the best leader you can be. Obviously, things weren't going, you know as smoothly as we wanted in the first half. But, you know, my guys believe in me, and that's what kept me going forward. That's what kept them going forward. And I feel like that really brought us um, closer throughout the game. And just we trusted each other. We never thought we were going to lose that game. And I think that's why we won. Devon, obviously, three touchdown uh, catches. This is, uh, you know, as a career best, uh, uh, beating out uh, uh, your two against Alcorn State in 2014. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Research. <laughs> Facts. Tell us a, a little bit about uh, uh, what you felt out there, and, and was there anything you ever said to Cameron about giving your, you know, getting you the ball? Well, yeah, I'll say something. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> he always just says, just throw it. Just throw just, it. <laughs> just throw the ball anywhere. And the first touchdown was probably a prime example. I honestly thought the dude was going to pick the ball off. So when he – Went reach for the ball. I reach and I just snatched it and then just reached across the goal line. But if people knew how much I love this game, they'll understand why I like wake up every morning and do what I do. I love to practice. I love to practice, yeah. and I'm always energetic. So this is it. The last two connections between the two of you, uh, basically Cameron. You know, you were on the run. It seemed like on both of them. Um, and then obviously, um, what, what did you see? Because it looked like, you know, Devon wasn't where you threw the ball. It's kind of like you kind of was like, okay, I see him. I know where he's going to be oh. and just let it go. Um, so it's a play where we try to confuse the defense and run a lot of people in different directions. And uh, the play is actually designed to go to the right side of the field, but I see Devon pointing his hands, and I just threw it where he was pointing. I, I trusted him. I mean... <laughs> And it just, I don't know, it was just smooth. I, I got out of the pocket a little bit, and I, I, I just saw it. I felt like I was seeing stuff better outside the pocket when I was on the move, and these receivers were finding spots for me. And uh, it was working for us all second half, pretty much. Right. Okay, overtime, obviously, they go in. They, uh, the defense gets a great stop uh, on, on third down, makes them uh, kick the field goal. Uh, you know, you guys basically just said, let's go down and score. Right. Talk about the final play, and I'll give each of you a chance to talk about what you guys saw. You kind of described it a little bit, but, you know, kind of, uh, kind of break it down the whole thing. Let me thing. go first. I'll go first. Um, go first ahead. of all, we got to give a big shout-out to our defense. So that was – I mean, that's a big stop for us, um, forcing them to kick a field goal. And that really gave us, you know, the mindset of what we had to do. We got to score. And, um, you know, we did – I mean, we did that. Like I said, that uh, – the the most important thing about you know being in overtime and you're starting on the 25 yard line is you have to have a good play, first a good first play, to, to get to get in the rhythm, and uh, I, I, we did that. And then when it came down to it, we were on the three yard line and we ran the play that we were just talking about. I got outside the pocket and uh, Devo pointed where he wanted it and I put it there. He scored, game ender. Well, oh. before I let it go to you, you talk oh. about a good play. Um, the the first play actually is a pass to Josh Truhart. That's his first collegiate catch. Yeah. And he was that's a, yeah, players. I forgot what play it was, but yeah, it was that one. Yeah, see, we tr we trust each other, man. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm the th I'm the third string quarterback. These guys trust me. True Heart was just thrown out there because our other tight end got hurt. He's a, he's never caught a ball, and um, but we trust him. I mean, we all work together all summer. Like if you don't trust these guys, then why are we even playing together? Like. Before I get to the to the last play, what was the play before where you threw the out route right there to get to the three? That was a great catch. What was that play? I, don't know. I cannot remember. I don't know, 
it was trailer. <laughs> Anyways, it was a play and it was a busted like the the protection or something. So Cam rolled out and I and I thought about running to the end zone, but I was like, nah, let's just get close. Yeah. So I stayed on the sideline and caught it. So we get to the huddle or whatever. No, it wasn't a huddle. We went no huddle. And Al came in, it was flush, it was Trey Wright, H Hurricane. Trey Wright tight, X Hurricane. And the play is designed to where me and Chris set a pick on Steve's guy yeah. so Steve can get open. Mm -hmm. So we, did, we, we intentionally run into him and then just throw our hands to make it look like we're running the route, but we're really setting a pick. But it was literally nobody in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. So off the snap, I'm looking. Yeah. So pretty much he was being selfish. I'm, he wanted the ball. He I'm was supposed point, to. <laughs> I'm pointing. I'm not losing this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he just so happened to see me. And he, yeah. he threw it to me, and I ran a victory lap. <laughs> ran around the Last thing, guys, that's yeah. like, let's talk about the, uh, the the victory laps. Obviously, okay. you threw the touchdown, and uh, uh, Cameron, and, and as soon as you see uh, Devon come down with it, uh, what was in your mind and what did you do? Um, well, what was in my mind is I'm just running, pointing at my family up in the stands, and uh, just thinking about my dad, how proud of looking down at me, how proud he is of me. And I just had a very emotional moment. I was just, I, was just, I don't know, I just started running. <laughs> and then... Uh, I got to about the 50, 60, 50 yard line, and my calves just cramped up, and I fell. So I guess the Lord just told me to stop running. <laughs> Devon, how about yours? Oh, my emotions got the best of me. I tossed the ball. I made sure the crowd saw me. I'm running yeah. to the crowd. I took my helmet off. I threw both of them up. Until the it's, fun. It's, it's, it's fun. I love this game. I, I, um, I'm just passionate about this game. I literally, like, I love everything about this game. Did you ever turn around and look to see your whole team trying to chase you down? Oh, oh yeah, I saw him. I saw him on the field running with me. But I couldn't stop because I felt like I was going to fall on concrete. So I just kept running. You were on the track? Yes, bro. <laughs> yes. All right, gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.